Jackson in the slap series um, <clears throat> on double stops. And uh, if you watch the first lesson, you'll, you'll see the first exercise. And this lesson is just designed to extend on that. <clears throat> in the first lesson, we learned this riff. That's what we learned in the first lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn to extend that like this. Okay? So, basically, um, everything that you need for the right hand articulation is the same as the first lesson. So, check out the first lesson before you check this out, okay? Um, and you'll see that the first lesson is linked uh, below as well in, in the details of this video. So, um, let me just slow this, let me just show you what we're doing in terms of double stops. The first one, as you know, is the E minor with the, with the third and the seventh. After that, we're going to move it down a semitone so that basically what we get when we play that over the root is basically like a D major 7 over the root E. So essentially what it gives us is it gives us a minor 9 and 6, minor 6, 9. Just goes there. And then here, this one, it's just, again, it's a fifth and it's just moved up um, to play from the seventh and fret and ninth fret. So what you've got there over the E, if you look at that, is basically going to be, this is like playing an, an F sharp minor over E. So what it gives you is a suspended sound because you've got the A in there. Okay. Um, and then after that, the only other one that we have there is played from the second fret and fourth fret. And that is just giving you the root and the fifth. Just to get that power chord sound, right? Now, if I um, just play it to you really slow, what I'll do is I'll play the riff to you really, uh, I'll play it up tempo first, and then I'll play it half the speed and then a quarter of the speed. thinking about it too much. How do, uh, let's do that again.
that's the second half of it, okay? Because uh, I messed, messed that up playing it slow. Um, and that just illustrates to you as well why it's a very good idea to play things slow. Um, because if you, if you do that, you start to recognize where your inaccuracies are um, as you play. And I just realized that I couldn't play that slow for some reason. Um, but anyway, there you go. The tabs are up. Um, please check out, if you haven't done so already, please check out the first lesson so that you get used to the pattern itself because the pattern is exactly the same no matter where you move the chord the right hand pattern I'm talking about is exactly the same wherever you move the chords to so uh, this lesson is condensed doesn't include the detail of how to articulate your right hand because that's already been covered in the first lesson so that's why I suggest you watch that first Okay, and then the next lesson um, in this series is going to be about how to add a flam to that, okay? So be sure to check that one out as well, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.